guys and welcome back to the channel so today i am doing a really nice little design set and somebody has asked me if i can list the colors i use actually in the video so they're along the bottom of the screen now this is my handy dolly and i have already tipped and i am now laying a clear base i know it doesn't stain obviously on the dolly but because i plan to ombre a few of the designs it gives a smooth because I haven't bothered blending or nothing it gives a really nice smooth transition from tip to nail bed sort of thing so I have just come in and I am using my simple clarity and I have gone all the way along the bottom uh, not the bottom I am just my brain has gone so right i am coming in with wedding night now and i am i'm not trying to ombre it too far down because this is going to be a three-way blend so i am doing i'm working with my cover powder first so my ring finger i decided i wanted a smile line so i am just building that and then i will let that set um, and file it in before I do the the free edge. Now I didn't know whether you guys prefer individual nails or a full design set, but I just I really liked the colours I were working with, and I thought, mm, I can't do just one. So yeah, I've I've decided to do the whole thing. So let me know if you would prefer it breaking up into individual videos, or if you're happy with just it as a design set so yes I've done that now I'm coming in with Jedha which is a really nice it's hard to describe how pretty it is it's got a twinkle with it but it doesn't need capping as in I, I do tend to cap everything even with my colors I work thin and, and cap because it's just the way I work but it's the same as Space Odyssey and Jack Frost. They don't need capping if you don't want to cap them. So this one, uh, the middle finger, I've done a little bit of a marble. I didn't want too much. So I've placed my bead of Wedding Night and Jeddah and Surfing the Waves. I know Surfing the Waves is a green, but I just felt the greeny blue. I was just, yeah. I just I fancied it. I haven't done a green set in a while and I actually like green. So I've moved down the nail and I've picked up a bead and I, I place it. I do tend to place one bead on top of the other as opposed to picking them up at the same time because I find it works better for me. Now this is surfing the waves on top of Jeddah, which is on top of Wedding Night. So I just... I wanted it to darken the tip just a little bit more than the Jedha would do. So yeah, I, I just softly blend it in. But when I'm when I'm on brain, especially with more than two colours, I always work super thin. So I've come in with the wedding night just to get rid of a little bit of that sparkle right up at the top. Now on the little finger I come in with Jedha. And I do a bit of an ombre. Now I don't pull it too far down. Because I wanted quite a lot of glitter. Now the glitter is a pre-mixed. So I don't need to pick it up. I like to work that way. So this is Cinderella. And it is so pretty. So yeah, I just pick up a bead as I would normally. And I can just tap it where I want it to go. So I'm just running little veins of glitters through the nails because I don't want to overpower the design but I wanted to add a bit of extra sparkle because why not? But yeah, so I've done that and then the little finger I'm literally just doing a full glitter fade all the way up. So when I'm doing this I tend to put it at the tip and work in the reverse method which is really weird because I don't always work in the reverse method to build a French. But I do when I'm on braying. How bizarre. But, yeah. <laughs> 
So I have filed in the smile line. I pr forgot to hit record, but I'm sure in another video you'll have seen it or I will do another one again, I'm sure. So I've done surfing the waves really, really thin down one side and I'm doing Jeddah down the other and I'm just sort of smushing them together in the middle. Um, yeah, because I wanted to sort of see the definition of colour from one side to the other, but wasn't too fussed. And then I'm just adding the little smidgen of glitter through it. Now, when I'd finished this set, I really can't decide if I actually wanted to put some bling or something on that ring finger. It just looks a bit bare to me, but I didn't show it in the video because I haven't done it yet. But I'm, I'm feeling that I kind of want to. So you might see an updated version of the photo at some point. So yes, I am capping in my simple clarity now. And I haven't cut anything out of this one so this is genuinely just how I work when I'm capping I don't work overly fast as you can see I do take my time because the thing about it is especially with clear you don't want air bubbles and it's like people say that they get it and it's like wait for your acrylic to start to polymerize walk it down slowly don't touch it more than you need to and I don't get bubbles, but I, I work slowly and precisely. I mean, I don't think I'm working too slowly, but you know what I mean. Right, so I finished capping them all. I didn't record it all because you've seen it and I didn't want to bore you to tears. So, yeah, I am doing my filing sidewall and then free edge and then the bulk of the nail now i don't show all the filing because it's not how i necessarily would file on a person because i don't I, I, the, the, they wiggle a little which is natural because it's a training hand but it's i i use it more for the design purposes than the practicing shape and structure i've got lovely clients that I use for them <laughs> but yeah you, you get the logic so I haven't I haven't recorded it all plus I don't have loads of storage on my phone because I've got thousands of nail pictures yeah I really need to do something about that so my favorite bit is the top gloss and I am um, I'm just in love it's so pretty so any comments any questions if you've enjoyed it i would really 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 love a thumbs up um and a like and a subscribe or anything like that and yeah thanks for watching guys bye